Hey guys, this is Max from Laravel101.com and in this video we are going to learn how to run a Laravel application in Docker. We are going to set up pretty basic Docker environment from scratch and configure most important services such as Nginx, PHP 7 and MySQL. Before moving on, let's consider the following folder structure for our project. Inside of root directory we will have src folder where source code of our application will live. We will also have database folder where our database will be stored. In docker assets folder we will store docker files and other configuration files for our docker services. In the project root directory we will have env file where we are going to store some project specific environment variables such as project name, database credentials and so on. And finally we will have docker compose file where we define our docker services. So let's get started. First let's create a project directory. Then inside of this folder let's create env file with a project name variable. This variable will be used as a prefix in our docker container names and should be unique for all our projects. Next, let's create database folder. This is where our database files will be stored. Then, let's create docker compose file and add a docker compose version we are going to use. In this case, we are going to use version 3. Then, let's add nginx service. This service will be used to serve our application files. We need to specify container name. Let's also prefix container name with project name variable so the container name will be unique for each project. Let's also tell docker that we'd like to use custom docker file for this service. To do this we just need to add build option pointing to our docker file directory. Don't worry, we'll create this docker file in a while. Then we need to link our volumes. This way our application source code will become available inside of docker container. We also need to set ports to listen for our Nginx service. The left part is the port on our main machine and the right part is the port used inside of docker container. Let's also set working dir option to src folder so we don't have to navigate the project source files manually each time we login into docker container. Then let's add our PHP service. This setup is pretty simple. Let's specify container name prefixed by project name. Then let's tell docker to build our service using custom docker file the same way we did this for nginx service. Don't worry, we'll create this file in a while. Lastly, let's link our src folder with the folder inside of docker container. Then let's create docker file for our PHP service in docker assets slash PHP. We'll be using PHP FPM version 7. Let's also install all required utilities such as zip, git, openSSL and other. Let's also install all required PHP extensions. Then let's tell docker to install composer and npm utility once container is created. Then let's create docker file for our nginx service in docker assets slash nginx. We'll be using Nginx from Alpine. Alpine is a lightweight Linux distribution and I prefer to use it in Docker containers instead of Ubuntu. As we'd like to have better control over our web server configuration, let's create custom warehouse config for Nginx in docker asset slash nginx slash confd. Then let's go back to our docker compose file and link our PHP service with our Nginx service. Let's also tell nginx service to use custom warehouse configuration file we recently created. Next let's add mysql service to our docker compose file. Let's also tell mysql to use native password authentication method and set our root password along with database name and username. For our convenience let's store database access credentials in our env file and update docker compose file to use newly created environment variables. After we added mysql service we need to link it with our php service. Alright, we added all necessary services required to run our application. Let's create test index.php file in our src slash public directory to see if it works. If we did everything right, after we start a docker container we should be able to open localhost at port 8080 in our web browser and see the content of our index.php file. Let's build and run our docker containers. Great, everything works fine. 
So let's install fresh Laravel application. First, let's remove our test index.php file and then login into our PHP Docker container and create new project using Composer. Let's update database setting in our env file and run migrations. Next, if we open localhost at port 8080, we should be able to see Laravel starting page. Great, everything works. As you can see, it's not that hard to start using Docker for local development. For your convenience, this Docker template is hosted on our GitHub page. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please do not forget to subscribe to this channel to stay up to date with our latest videos and cool web development tips. Thanks for watching.